Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Corinne. Welcome to the discontinued products that should make a comeback video. Today, I decided to film a video all about products that I absolutely love but have been discontinued. I've personally never seen another YouTuber do a video completely dedicated to discontinued products, but if I'm wrong, make sure to leave those people's YouTube names down below so I can check it out. But I just thought it would be fun to do a video all about the amazing discontinued products that need to make a comeback because we all know how it feels to find the perfect product for you, something that you love, that you use every day, and then all of a sudden the brand decides to pull it. So I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of my favorite products that have been unfortunately discontinued and talk about why I love them so much. Okay, so the very first palette that I'm gonna be talking about is by Morphe and this is Morphe's 35B palette. Now this palette is one of my favorites and it's one of my go-to palettes when it comes to doing creative, fun, colorful looks. And it sucks that they discontinued it. There are some rumors going around that Morphe and James Charles are like remastering the palette. And if so, that's fine. But I don't think that you should stop selling this until you're ready to launch the new one, you know? Like there are so many people who are trying to get their hands on this palette because it's so awesome and it has so many different shades in it and they can't because Morphe discontinued it. So this palette right here, I'm sure a ton of you guys are gonna agree with me on this one. This is the Mario and ABH Master Palette. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It is a beautiful, beautiful palette. This palette is amazing. Like I try not to use it because I love it so much. Like the shades in here are so beautiful. They're so pigmented. They blend out so amazingly. This shade right here called Lula is my absolute favorite transition shade ever. Like it's the perfect cool tone brown to put in the crease for a transition shade. I just love it. And then all of these light, Shimmer shades right here are beautiful. I just love this palette so, so much. And I know there's so many people who like beg Mario to bring it back, but I know it's a collab and a lot of collabs are just temporary and they aren't meant to stay in stock, but I just love this palette so much, like so much that I try not to use it because I don't want to run out of the product. Okay, so this next palette that I'm gonna talk about like literally hits me right in the heart. If you haven't heard that this palette is being discontinued, I don't know where you've been, but Urban Decay is discontinuing their original Naked palette. I'm not even kidding you guys. I got like a lump in my throat when I saw that they're discontinuing this palette because this palette is what started makeup, I feel like. This is such a staple palette in people's collections. This was the very first high-end palette that I ever, ever purchased. And as you can tell, it's been very loved. This palette just, oh my gosh, I love it so much. Look at these shades in here. So beautiful. This palette is a staple in my collection and it's what started my love for makeup. I feel like this is literally the palette that started makeup as a trend, like how it is nowadays. Like there are so many other brands that come out with nude palettes and naked palettes because of this palette. And I'm like so brokenhearted that Urban Decay is discontinuing it. So it's half off right now at like Ulta and I think on Urban Decay's website. So if you want to go pick it up before it's completely out of stock, I would recommend it. So this palette is actually what gave me the idea of making a video all about products that are discontinued that need to come back. So Urban Decay, I don't know what the heck you're thinking with this palette, but you're disappointing a lot of people. Okay, so I am a highlight hoarder. Like I have so many highlights, but all four, all four of my absolute favorite highlights are all discontinued, all of them. You can't buy them. They were either collabs or yeah, three of them were collabs and one of them was just discontinued. So the very first one I'm gonna talk about is this one right here. This is the Nicole Guerrero and ABH collab on this beautiful glow kit. I know when you take a look at this, it looks very scary because this looks like super peachy. These look super brown, but for some reason, they don't show up on your skin this way. Like it's so, so weird. Like I'm just gonna give you guys a few swatches of this beautiful palette right here. And if they ever bring it back, 
I'm buying another one. So here's three of the shades right here. Here's a swatch. Just look. Oh my gosh. This is another one of those palettes that I literally just keep in my drawer hidden away from me so that I don't use it because I don't want to hit pan and I don't want to run out. Another highlight I'm going to talk about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Omrizi collab. Here is this highlight. This highlight is insane. Just look at it. It's so beautiful. I'll give you guys a swatch of it as well. So this is like the perfect champagne gold. It's more gold than it is champagne, but it's just... So here's a swatch of that. Look at it. Oh my gosh. So if you go on Anastasia's website, it does say temporarily out of stock. So I'm guessing that they're probably going to bring it back for another round. I mean, why wouldn't they? This thing sold out like in two seconds. And if they do, I highly recommend you picking it up because it is amazing. <laughs> I have a million Anastasia things to talk about that have been discontinued. So here's another one. Another Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight. So this is so Hollywood. And this one is pretty similar to the Omrizi highlight, except this one's a little bit more gold. So when this came back in stock, I think two winters ago, I ended up buying two of them because I was like, there's no way that I'm running out. And I ended up giving the second one to my sister and she used the entire thing. So I'll give you a swatch right here of So Hollywood. Holy crap. Look at it, it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Okay, so the last highlight that I'm gonna talk about is yet another collab, okay? Another collab. And this highlight is Fuego. And this is the Desi and Katie's collab with Dose of Colors. And this is what the highlight looks like. With their collection with Dose of Colors, they came out with two highlights. And I bought the lighter one and I'm kicking myself for not buying a second one and I knew when they said, oh, this is our last restock, buy anything that you want before it's completely gone, I was like, I need to buy another one, I need to buy another one, and I never did, and I'm regretting it. This just is perfect for my skin tone. It's the perfect gold. I know like all of these highlights probably look the same on the camera, but I promise you, they're not. So I'm gonna give you a swatch of it right here. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's like glass on your face. Like it melts into your skin and into your foundation. It just looks amazing. The packaging is amazing. I mean, look at this. It comes with like little tiny baby mirror in there. Gives you really good pan size. Like I love everything about this highlight. This is another of those products that I try to use rarely because I know that I would go through this in like a month if I used it every day because I love it. Okay, so I have three lip colors to talk about and I'm just going to stick with the Desi and Katie collab and talk about these two shades right here. So Sauvage and Hot Fire, I will swatch these for you because they're amazing. I just wore this lip color yesterday actually. So this is Hot Fire. Stunning, like bright orange red perfect for the summertime. I absolutely adore that shade. And then this one is another one of my favorites. And this one is Sauvage. And this one is like a dark, super deep, dark berry shade. Just look how stunning it is. Not only do I love the colors, but the formula is insane. And the applicator is the most bomb applicator that I have ever used in my life. Like it is so precise and it's shaped so perfectly to give you that perfect application on your lips. I don't know if that's just Dose of Colors regular lip wand. I've been meaning to buy a couple more lipsticks from Dose to check it out because I love the lip wand so much. So I have another lipstick to talk about and this is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Skimpy. Now I'm not too upset about this going out of stock because I have literally six backups, okay? Six backups because one time I was on ColourPopCosmetics.com and they have this little section on their website that says like last time to purchase or say goodbye to these products or I don't know, something about how they're going out of stock. So I was like, okay, I'll check and see what's going out of stock, what they're discontinuing. And Skimpy was on there and I was like, what? Because Skimpy is the perfect nude. 
the perfect nude and I've raved about it before and the weird thing is is that they ended up bringing it back because I had a friend who messaged me and was like hey skimpy's in stock I actually had two people message me and say skimpy's in stock but I just checked today and they don't have it anymore so I'll give you guys a swatch of what skimpy looks like it's just the perfect pinky nude for my skin tone and it's like super glossy it's super pretty super comfortable it literally smells like sugar cookies this is one of those lip shades that i know will look good on me no matter what eye look i'm wearing because i usually have to pair my lips with my eyes because i do crazy eye makeup but this lip color can go with any eye makeup that i do i have one in like every single one of my purses and then i have like four in my backup drawer so i have two eyeliners to talk about the first one is this one and it's nyx glam liner aqua luxe in i don't know it doesn't really say the shade name but it's like this amazing gold eyeliner and it's starting to dry up this eyeliner is literally i'm not even kidding you liquid gold i will show you i'll give you a little swatch right here of it you guys i don't know if you're gonna be able to see that because it's such like a thin line and it's starting to dry up like i said which is so disappointing yeah like i can't even use this eyeliner anymore it's literally i don't know if you guys can see that because i can't see that in my little monitor this is literally liquid gold and this was an eyeliner that i was using all the time with fun looks i would use it on a cut crease i would use it for eyeliner i would use it for detailing like this eyeliner was so cheap but so good and never flaked off i know that nyx has eyeliners that are similar to this but it's like when you find a product that you love you just want to use that you don't want to use something similar to that you want to use the product okay so the second eyeliner that i have to talk about right here is this urban decay heavy metal eyeliner and i don't even know the name of this because i've had it for so long but every time i go to ulta i always try and look for it and they never have it and I've never been able to find it online or anything like that. But this glitter eyeliner right here has such like a special meaning to me because when I was young, my mom would always take me to Nordstrom. And whenever we would go to Nordstrom, I would always get little mini makeovers done at Urban Decay. And they would always put this glitter eyeliner on me because I loved it. I just felt so pretty, so girly. Like it has iridescent sparkles in it. It also has like purple and teal and blue. Like it has every color in the rainbow in this eyeliner. And I just loved it. And my mom ended up buying one for me for like my birthday or for Christmas or something. And this was one of the very first high-end products that my mom ever bought for me when I was little. And I'm talking like really young. Like I was super, super young. So next I have a mascara to talk about. So this mascara is the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. About a year and a half to almost two years ago, I, I nannied for a family and the mom was a manager at Sephora. I was getting free product like weekly. She would basically give me like all of her gratis. So I was able to try out new products and fun things. Like I said in one of my previous videos, I was never the type of person who would go buy like a high-end mascara because drugstore ones worked perfectly fine. So she ended up giving me this Smashbox X-rated mascara and I fell in love with this mascara. I was obsessed with it. It made your lashes full, it made them long, it wasn't flaky, it was long lasting. It was just an absolutely beautiful mascara. This was just one of those mascaras that absolutely stole my heart and I am so upset that they decided to discontinue it. I don't even know why, it's such a good mascara. like. I don't understand why companies discontinue such good products to bring out other products that aren't as good. Like I'll never understand, I don't know. So I have one last product to talk about. This is the Patrick Star and MAC collab and this is the setting powder that he came out with. And I don't know if you've ever watched Patrick Star, but he, it, like it's a trip to watch him do his makeup. It's insane, like he cakes and pounds that makeup on, but at the end, he has like a flawless face. It's insane. And one of his staple products is loose setting powder. So I ended up buying his setting powder. It has zero flashback. It's like this peachy color. It gives you a really pretty finish. It's just absolutely stunning powder. I have heard rumors. I talked to a gal at the matte counter a couple months ago and she told me that they're gonna be bringing it back this winter because Mac and Patrick are doing like four collabs for every single 
season and for the holiday season she said that they're going to be bringing this back so if they do i'm going to buy another one and you should too because this powder is absolutely amazing i love it i didn't have a ton of products that were discontinued but i did have quite a few that i'm like Ugh. If they brought it back, I would buy like 10 more. And that was these products right here. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you follow me on all of my social medias. I always make sure to put them right here on the screen for you and link it down below. And make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.